Yo, what's up everybody, Brilly here. I wanted to give you a personal walkthrough of the pieces in my collection tonight with me and Scott Storch. Evolution is here, 420, begins at 6.30 p.m. Uh, and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's, uh, let's get into this here. I wanted to give you kind of a personal walkthrough of the concept and breakdown of each one of these pieces, really. So I've categorized it into three separate ideas. And the first one is the motion capture experience of the Evolution and the audio visual experience of Evolution. Basically, what these are, is Scott and I prepared and Scott composed five original scores, five original tracks just for this NFT drop. And with those, we did two different things with it. For the motion capture experience, I thought how amazing would it be to digitize the actual movement of Scott Storch's hands because that is the creation, that is the art, right? And so when I came up with the idea originally, I, I, I wasn't necessarily thinking what hasn't been done in this space before. Um, the end result was just that, you know, this is the first time something like this has been done on Nifty Gateway. And I'm almost certain it's the first time to this level it's been done anywhere as an NFT. And so I was coming up with the idea and I thought, you know what? The art form of what Scott does is about his finger movements. Anybody can play a chord. Anyone can play a note. But... Only one person can have Scott's sound, and that's all driven from the very specific way his fingers move when he plays the piano or creates his music. And so that's what this is. I'll go in, in here and just we'll just play a couple, um, and we'll just walk through. So each one of these pieces actually goes and is paired um, with the same theme that it has in the audiovisual experience. And this is for Neo Trip. And so Scott wore motion capture gloves that, and, and we digitized every single movement of his to create these animations. So there is no hand key framed animation in this, uh, in the movement of the, the hands. This is all Scott Storch's fingers being recorded, which is moving the fingers. That is it. So I wanted these pieces to kind of be like digital trophy, so to speak, like a collectible digital trophy. That was the goal behind these pieces. So obviously they're, they're all up to view. I'll keep this kind of short and sweet so we don't need to go through every single piece. And then we've got Scott Storch's legendary tracks. And so the legendary tracks uh, consist of Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake and Timberland, uh, and we have Still Dre by uh, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, and we have X by Exhibit. And I thought, you know what? These would be absolutely amazing if we could record Scott's finger movement during these, right? Because when he describes how he created Still Dre and the offset of his fingers you know, completely changing the song, you know, offsetting his fingers when he hit the keys, came up with this new original sound that was just slightly off and the slight imperfections were perfection in the end. And I, I thought, you know, this is the art form, you know, only one person plays it or would have ever played it like Scott Storch did. And so now this is forever digitally encrypted on the blockchain. And you'll see each one of these has little ties in to, you know, the music video or the theme behind it. And so the Impala Rims, you know, obviously a very prevalent uh, piece in the Still Dre or Still D-R-E video. And then we get to the audio visual experience. Now, these ones really dive in to a deeper part where it's more about the deep concept and mood and feeling behind it. Scott and I have been talking since 2017, and I've come to realize that him and I were in the same room together, and I just didn't know it. Back in 2006, 2007, I was in Miami, and I was outside of a club, and I'm a, I'm a big car guy. I've always been a really into cars. And before I even got into the club, what I was most enthusiastic about was all the cars outside the club. And it was like, you know, Ferrari and Porsche and Bentley and Rolls Royce and Lamborghini. One car in particular in 2006, 2007 stood out to me. And it was the Bugatti Veyron. And that's a $1 million plus dollar car. And at this time, it stood out to me because all my friends that I knew were car, car people as well. 
No one's ever seen one. No one had ever seen one. I didn't even know there was any in the U.S. yet. And lo and behold, I found out that two people had had one at this point. One was Ralph Lauren. He had the first edition. And the second edition was none other but Scott Storch. And, uh, and so I was standing out in the club for a long time just admiring this piece. That night in the club during this time, Paris Hilton was in there, uh, at which they were both dating each other at that time. I was not aware of that. And I didn't know what he looked like. So I was right next to him. I was in the room. And, uh, and there he was. And so what I wanted out of this piece was to capture the mood and the feeling of that moment, of that night, of me standing out in front of the club, looking at his car right before being right next to him in the same room. And so that was this. This is a very atmospheric piece, something that I wanted to set us back in time a little bit so you could feel the vibe of the, the atmosphere around that moment. And um, and there's some little gems in here that if you're not uh, too observant, you might miss. So as we play it, you'll see little music notes coming through the smoke and dissipating. And also on the filter here, it will change seamlessly from Storch into Brilli and then back around to Storch again. So uh, let, we'll, we'll play this and then we'll kind of move on to the next one. Everything always audio reacted for all these pieces, and they're all built and designed to be seamless loops, both audio and visually. So let's hop over to the next one, and uh, let's go into Miami. We'll do Miami Nights next. Miami Nights, you know, just a really fun... Um, like time setting for this one. It, that was the, the main idea. It's like, I wanted to encapsulate Miami. Miami's such a big part, um, and Florida in general, is just such a big part of both Scott and I's history. And um, and so I, I, I thought, you know what we need to do? I need to create a piece that just puts this into a time capsule for that that experience and that, that fun and excitement and something that feels very cultural to Miami. So that's how this one was kind of created and built. Then let's hop into Neo Trip. So if you're familiar with Scott's background at all, um, Scott in the past year has created a rehab facility which also uses medical marijuana uh, to help patients get over very serious addiction problems. And so this is part of the curing and help uh, in the, his rehab facility. And so for this piece, what I really wanted to do was I wanted to create almost like, think of like a religious shrine, right? I wanted to create this moment that really like put this emphasis on this like marijuana nug right on this on this marijuana flower here and i wanted to create some sort of geometric um version of a halo around it so think of like a religious shrine but like now make it trippy and neon and neon lights and audio reactive and very fun um something that wasn't demonizing weed but rather really showcasing in a light uh scott's rehab facility is called the heavenly center as well and so i was like okay i want this very statuesque hand but i want it trippy i want it very tripped out and i want to put it in these blue clouds that are floating above with this halo all audio reactive All right, sweet. Let's jump to the next one here. Uh, the next one we'll take a look at is Elevated. Elevated, a very, very important piece to both Scott and I, uh, both being from the city of Philadelphia. Philly is a very big part of who we are. And so I had to include deep roots here, and I really wanted to set a certain mood and atmosphere again. You'll see a lot of the, the visuals uh, that are coming out from this piece are gonna, are gonna, gonna you're gonna feel like a time and place and setting and what that, that mood feels like. And so I've got one of the subway cars and in Philly, um, a lot of the subway cars also turn into L trains, which is elevated trains. Um, and so I thought it would be very cool to have this one floating up in the air. I also redesigned the city to put a couple buildings that, that meant a lot to me in the city. Um, you know, Liberty One, Liberty Two buildings and um, City Hall, et cetera. And uh, a building that my friend and I were able to get on top of one time. Um, and so just like on top of the roof and take pictures, all that stuff. So, you know, a lot of little pieces in there. 
there and then additional some graffiti on here that that includes some some little phrases for me and scott uh 215 is the train number which is the area code for philly my logo scattered around so just like little elements but again very audio reactive driven as well Awesome. And as they all do, this is another looping piece. All right, now we get into evolutionary. Evolutionary is a one of one. And, uh, and, and you know what, let's just play it through. And then I'll run through it again and, uh, and give kind of a breakdown of the piece and the deep meaning. But this is a journey. This is a full on experience. And this is a deep dive into Scott Storch and his journey. If you know about his journey, his life is an actual movie. It's crazy crazy um story and um and it's a story that i love you know i love someone that that comes from very little that builds something uh like an empire um and loses it all and then rebuilds it again and comes back out on top like those are the best stories in the world and this is a true story so here we go All right, so I'll walk you through this piece and, and a little bit behind the visual. So I knew I had to start out in Philly, you know, that's that's kind of the roots. That's that's the place that we both started from. And when you're from Philly, you know, you never let Philly go. Philly's a part of who you are and it will remain a part of who you are. And so I kept Philadelphia. I wanted it to be all in white. I wanted this to be our blank canvas, right? No paint had been on this yet. This was the beginning of our creativity. And then I thought, you know what? It would only make sense if I can seamlessly transition in from the city right into the piano key because when you're from Philly, you know, there's so much arts and culture and that lives within you and that lives within your creativity and your music forever. So the, the city had to turn into a piano key. And then we go into this endless loop of keys and this loop of keys here, um, it, what it signifies is endless music, endless creativity, this infinite loop of constant creativity. Uh, and I think there's some kind of crazy stat out there uh, that in one year, Scott Storch had 85% of the songs on the Billboard Top 100. Like absolutely wild, like absolutely just was crushing everything. Um, and that was it. And um, and if you see notice certain keys lighting up here, those are actually Scott Storch's uh, hand movement recorded that are triggering the response to the light. So, and it's, and it's obviously keyed and timed to the, uh, to the visual of the music as well. Those are paired together. And then we zoom through this, this infinite tunnel of creativity, and we end up in Florida, right? And that's where all this big legacy was built. That's, that's where the empire was built. And that's where Scott was just nonstop producing music. And, and, and in Florida, I just wanted to hold on this a little bit. I just wanted to have it be really nice and audio reactive and just something we could sit here and just kind of admire the beauty of it for a little bit. And that's exactly what I, I wanted to hold here because it's such a significant part of his journey and, and my journey as well um, let's just take this in because right after this is the beginning of a downfall and we go and it's kind of got this more like demonic haze and um, you know 
harsher, more, you know, red and la- like red lasers coming down. It, it's got a more menacing feel to it. And this is where Scott began to have an addiction towards cocaine. Uh, he was with some um, Hollywood figures at that time and introduced cocaine to him. And this is like one of the things that I really love about Scott too. He doesn't blame anything on anybody else but himself. So note that uh, first and foremost, he, he, you know, he says no one put the cocaine to his nose, but him, you know, like that's that period, you know? And so I think that's like truly respectable because, you know, it'd be very easy to, to pin that on someone else. And this was the fall of his empire. Um, and we go into the, O on the Hollywood sign and we end up in a room of scattered uh, a kind of a black void of scattered piano keys and this is the moment where no creation is being made life is just fractured and all apart you can't play the piano anymore you can't create music anymore nothing's together in your world and if we scroll though towards the end if you watch in the kind of bottom middle you'll notice that some piano keys begin to start forming back up and this is scott overcoming his dark period and his addiction and rebuilding his empire and then this match cuts to the final shot where we see the 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 piano keys fully forming on the grand piano as the camera pulls out and the empire has been rebuilt and we're making music and art again and you'll even notice i've made sure to include some of scott's famous aviators up on the piano as just a little tribute as well So I hope you found that useful to kind of go through and walk through some of the concept and creativity and a little bit deeper of the meaning behind some of these pieces. I hope everyone is really enjoying this drop. It means a lot to me. This is a drop that was not created because NFT craze came about. I've been trying to work with Scott and make this kind of thing happen since 2017. And that's when we began talking. And it's just amazing to to have this opportunity to be able to present a collaboration between two of us on a platform like an NFT. It just makes all the sense that we made this happen for this time in our lives. So I think that's important um, to, to just explain to you the authenticity behind this. And this was a collaboration that I've had a true deep desire to make happen for several years and not just like, hey, you two are both cool artists. Uh, maybe you can make something together. It was like, I wanted to work for t- with Scott for so long. I've been a fan of his for so long. And um, I think we brought something really special to the space. So appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you for your time. And we will be seeing you soon.